all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, or share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all league. So listen, I had to speak about this. Um, y'all know Tay and Lou, you know, they have been going through a breakup for some time now, and they last time they was on the internet, they said that they would be able to do videos together. Suddenly, both of them not doing videos together, and Tay dropped a video yesterday basically you know crying and saying that you know she was basically being um you know abused in in this situation i didn't just hate using that word but abused uh in her last relationship so she didn't bring any receipts or anything so you know lou came out and she has something to say today now they are currently going back and forth on instagram right now but uh i got some of it and we're gonna go ahead and get into it let's get it better oh i'm tripping so i, I want to show y'all what um lou said today so it's i guess title after the breakup she did three videos with me requ requested by her two youtube and one tiktok with a smile and compliance fast forward two three months with zero contact i start to move on i start my youtube and now she's making a video pulls out tears that y'all are familiar with i am too obviously all of the while plugging her merchandise she had to control the narrative like the grade a narcissist that she is this was done so our followers would be comfortable with her taking over the channel um since day one i have had no control over the youtube channel i've had no i ha i've had not one password login never edited one thing or posted to the youtube and never any payment if someone was afraid of me in any way they would not have sat down edited and posted the breakup video continue to live with me and ask to do more and more content now i just want to put this out here um <sighs> You know, y'all know, for those that don't know, I've been in a situation, um, I don't want to say similar to this because we all go through our shit, but I love to put out mine first because I need y'all to know that nobody's perfect, especially YouTubers, especially celebrities, whatever. No one is perfect. We all are going through our own shit in our own homes, right? But at some point, it kind of hits the internet, you know, shit hits the fans. So when I seen her post this, I was just like, okay, so whatever it is that Tay was saying may not be that valid, right? I'll keep reading. I'll keep reading because we're, we're getting to a point here. Y'all give me a second. So she said, I refuse. These are not the actions of someone afraid seeing how toxic it had become for my peace. I left. I'm usually more reserved about my personal business and opinions on the internet, but this was taken too far. I would like to extend a sincere apology to all of TTG for this unfortunate circumstance, the chips will fall as they may. And that's always in my favor. I don't have to bash and manipulate others to do so. Now, I'm not going to lie. When she put this out, I was like, Tay, you got some splaining because it sound as though sis ain't do nothing to you, right? Now, I just want to say that I felt, I feel that Tay was kind of pushed to the edge in this situation because she had to ex you know expose certain things that i know lou would have not wanted the internet to see but i do see why she did that because you know she had to protect herself you know what i'm saying and once again y'all i have been in a situation where i have actually been in lou's shoes you know what i'm saying um i have and you know the person calling anyone a narcissist most of the time is the person calling the person a narcissist. I'm not going to lie. Except in Blueface and, and Krishan's situation, you know, both of them are just shell. But after this, you know, Tay decided she got to put her own shit out. So she said, I went through so much shit in my previous relationship, but I always had the, the right mindset to record what was happening. Why? If something ever happened to me, I wanted there to be some proof of what the hell was going on. I'm going to share it to save my damn name. Cause Lord knows I'm tired of protecting everybody except myself. And I gotta say, I don't blame her at all. So here goes fuck. nothing. This is what she did to the show. Give a fuck. You don't care about your dog. Zoom in. 
Now, if y'all, if if y'all didn't hear, she said, um, you don't care about your daughter. Uh, I'm gonna read the context from this whatever it's saying on the on the thing because I have the screenshots of it. Of course, this is my own little video I put together. But um, no, this is not it. Hold on one second. Come on now. Take it forever. <laughs> All right. It says, I started recording because she trashed her child's father's shed in a drunken state, and I didn't want to be blamed for it. We were already in the shed after she overdrank, and I knew it was best to move her away from her daughter as I always did. I asked if she remembered us watching that show because we had a long talk about how things can escalate way beyond what it's supposed to. And it shouldn't. I stated she didn't care about her daughter because I couldn't understand why someone would drink that much around their child. I would never and I have never and have never talked about her child. I talked about her behavior um, with her daughter or whatever. So that is why she brought her daughter up. And I wanted to, you know, make that clear because I didn't know if y'all heard it. Stop. Or not. Celine, literally. Stop. Remember we watched After the Suicide of Murder? Stop talking about my daughter. You're about to hit me. Stop talking about my daughter. That's fine with So that was a trigger for her. Um, Shout out to Diamond for putting me on to this. That was a trigger for her. Um, It was a trigger for her to hear anything about her daughter because I feel like she knows that she's not doing right, you know, by her daughter. Allegedly, at least from what this is showing and. It makes her angry when her daughter's brought up. No, daughter. Whatever Stop talking I do. about my daughter. Stop talking about my motherfucking daughter. She's I asked you one more time. I have to defend my fucking self. And she would have to defend herself after she keep putting her hands on her. So this situation right here, she's saying after getting hit on, I would go silent and try to leave the situation. She wouldn't allow it. And if I said I would call the cops, she would threaten to tell the cops I hit her too. So we both get arrested. If you know anything about the law, as soon as a person says you hit them, automatic arrest. And that's a fact. You keep doing that. I'm going to be okay. <laughs> remember what you think. If you're anything else leaving me, then I won't be okay. I'm better. She said, we going home tonight, girl. And she, at the end of it, she said, we going home. We, and then she said, you can call the cops or whatever. So she basically, that's like a situation of like, uh, it don't matter what, you, what happened. It don't matter who you call. It don't matter what you do. We going home, nigga, death row. Okay. <laughs> She gave a death row option. But anyway, this is the last situation. This was, uh, and as of right now, because I don't know if, of course, they're going to put it more out. Like, um, Lou is going live tonight. So it's a lot going on. But I think people sometimes count on the fact that you'll be embarrassed to tell the truth because you'll be exposing yourself too. And you won't. Not when you, not when you are fed up with whatever it is that's going on. Um, with you or the route I took, I just told on everything about myself. You know what I'm saying? It, I, I'd rather just take, you know, responsibility for myself and my accountability that has made me feel better in any situation. Cause I know if I did something wrong, I'm gonna say that shit. And if I didn't, I'm going to say I didn't either. Uh, it hurts to see my face like this, but it hurts more to act like it never happened. I went through therapy for a reason to deal with the backlash of having thousands of people wonder why I didn't say anything or I'm lying. My story is important to me because so many women in my life have gone through, have gone through it. And many of you are going through this shit right now. I was willing to keep this pain covered until I was made to look like the bad guy. I didn't leave Lou because she was depressed. I left her because she was an alcoholic and abusive. I don't care what bullshit she spends to hide this. And I mean, to be honest, at this point, she cannot hide it at all. OK, Um, I just want to say, A, I hope both of them get through this because this, you know, yeah, I've, I've worn these shoes. So I like to let y'all know I've worn these shoes. If you never seen those videos, go back. I was a mess. Um, And, you know, honestly, hurt people do hurt people. And that's not an excuse for people to hurt people, though. What I'm saying is hurt people do hurt people. And then when a hurt person is putting all that shit on another person, they end up hurting too, you know? So, um, I just pray that they both can just 
find peace within themselves and can move on. Um, especially for Lou, you know what I'm saying? She's going through something and when you don't admit it and when you, you gotta get, you gotta get exposed like this. So when you don't admit to who you've become or you don't know who you've become. In my case, I did not know I became that bad. I didn't. Um, so I had to be exposed for that. And I, one of the best things that ever happened to me, cause now I know like, oh shit, I never want to be that again. You know what I'm saying? And for Lou, it needs to be the same. It truly needs to be the same. I hope she can find some accountability in herself, change this shit for her daughter, you know, and change it for herself. And um, I don't blame Tay for doing this because she had to show, it ain't just me, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going through some real life shit, you know? So I don't blame her, but uh, I'm going to keep up on this story. Whatever y'all find out, just send it to me. I'm going to make an eight minutes with Neek, period. Uh, I care about this situation because I've experienced this. So I just hope they get through it, honestly. And um, yeah, when more shit comes out, I will report on it. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.